contrasting backgrounds with these two clubs. Eastleigh in their first ever season in the conference, in the playoffs. And not surprisingly, their manager Richard Hill says, same again after securing that playoff spot on the final day and we're talking about the experience that he has in that team six of that 11 have been promoted from the conference into the football league before they include joe partington as well who's the young welshman on loan from bournemouth craig McAllister continues in attack but yami odebade who's just back from a very successful loan spell at woking is amongst the substitutes Grimsby have experience, of course, as well. No more so than Craig Disley, their captain, who scored in both semi-finals last season when they were beaten by Gateshead. His midfield partner, Scott Brown, was part of Gary Mills' successful squad at York that won the playoff final at Wembley. Two lone players for them, Josh Gowling at the back from Kidderminster and Ollie Palmer on loan from Mansfield in attack, who already has six goals in a Grimsby shirt. He scored in both league fixtures against Eastleigh. First set play of the night. Swung in by Brown. Scott Brown once more. Left footed delivery. Goalkeeper back pedal. There was no flag. And Sean Pearson had a golden opportunity for Grimsby. And, and the ball gets played back. Look how static the Eastleigh back four are. It's a great decision from the linesman. I think Pearson thinks he's offside. The way that he headed it, headed it, there's no conviction in. He's a very good header of the ball. As you say, there's a massive opportunity for him to give his side an early lead. James McKeown. And he too has bad memories of last season's playoffs with that horrible error against Gateshead. That's the other from Arnold! 1 0 Grimsby! Nathan Arnold inside three minutes! to give the team the finish, third the lead. Well, what a strike this is from Arnold. They tap the ball well, the front two. And now he just takes it early, and that's where it dips, under the bar, under Flindley. I don't see many better strikes than that on the second balls. He's the first one to react. When it dips under the bar. It's a wonderful strike. It's a fantastic start for Grimsby. He's still technically a Cambridge player on a season-long loan. And your experienced players in your team, as you say, the boys were saying before, there is experience in this easily side. Stanley didn't get there. Arnold's in again here. It's Arnold! And Ross Flitney denies him at full stretch. It's a poor cross ball there, and Arnold threw on goal. I really think he should be trying to hit this cross flip knee. Decides to go near post on his left foot. Still a good save. Here comes the Grimsby corner, headed away by Jack Midson. McCreth. It wasn't what Disley intended. Two players went for the same ball though. Oh, and it's fallen to Ollie Palmer. And how hasn't he doubled Grimsby's advantage? He knows that should be 2-0. No communication, that tells me that's a sign of nerves. When it comes through to Ollie Palmer, he actually sits, strikes it too well. It strikes the post. That's a really bad miss from that distance. Especially the time that he's got to hit the back of the net. Has to be scoring. <laughs> and James McKeown. Oh, the little unnecessary. Get out of the way. Doesn't need to be in the way there, McKeown. Particularly from Grimsby's point of view, after the heartache of the last two seasons, those defeats to Newport, and then of course Gateshead last season. Looking for the challenge. Trevins leading with his left arm there. And the Eastley skipper is going to be the first name 
in the referee's notebook. Huge kick again from Flitney. Here's Reason. Good work by Gowling, and it came to Midson. Snack shot. Everybody back to defend it for Grimsby. Clipped in by Reason. Across and underpaid. Has made the instant impact. The substitute introduced by Richard Hill has leveled it up. And after those seven goals on loan at Woking, he opens his easily account. We really thought Reason was going to strike this, but he goes across there. It's actually inside, who actually hits it back across. And the man of the moment, Oda Bay, is there to tap it in for an easy tap in from six yards. It's actually inside, who actually hits it back across. Deeper one this time. Pearson beaten to it. Back in from Disley. Man, he scored in both playoff semi finals last season for Grimsby. He actually switches off. You just see him here on the top of your screen. And he comes into it. Disley's there and attacks it. So Flitney's really struggling across his goal there. Great header from the captain. John Lewis with the flip. Arnold. Could try! Oh, he's done it again! Nathan Arnold with his and Grimsby second. Both spectacular strikes. And Grimsby Town are back. In front, well, he thought his first goal was good. This one's even better and more spectacular. These easy fans absolutely stunned. Ball for McKeon down, attacked by John Lewis. Look at the reaction of Arnold there, just strikes it brilliantly. Look at Parkinson, just gets caught ball watching going for there. He cuts inside. What a spectacular strike that is into the top corner. Two quick touches, sets it up brilliantly. Will not strike that any sweeter into the top corner. Well, I should report that Nick Stanley is still there on the back row. He hasn't heeded the warning or indeed instruction of his manager. No, he certainly hasn't. So certainly voices opinion. He's out of eight. I think McKeown might have got something on that. He circled the ball well. Just got a little bit of luck off Gowling. And Salah's throw. John Lewis went down. Immediate wave of the arms from the referee. I've seen those given. Just clips him there, yeah. Just say reasons. Comes in off the line there. Doesn't play the ball. John Lewis is onside. This is a chance. What a save by Flitney. And only time will tell just how crucial a save in the tie that is from Ross Flitney. Not only kept easily in the tie, keep their hopes of trying to get into league football. It's a brilliant save from Flitney. Again, it's just that one ball over the top. Just watches it all the way. John Lewis maybe trying to hit it a little bit more across him. For Eastley. Reasons corner, punched away by McKeown. Back in from Evans, and gathered that time by James McKeown. And just like Bristol Rovers, Grimsby go back home for the second leg with a goal advantage. Paul Hurst knows there's still a lot of work to be done, but after all the problems in the build-up for this game, he was thankful to Nathan Ireland, not once, but twice